welcome to another edition of the Future Questions Show, the part of this channel where I ask and answer questions about the future. This time I want to do three things. Um, I want to say a bit about the, uh, the future of this channel itself, where things are going to be going in the, in the months and years ahead. Um, I also want to say a bit about social media and some of its negative sides and how that affects some of the things I, I may be doing here on YouTube. Um, but before that, I want to return to the question I asked you last time, which is, do you fear or welcome the rise of the robots? Now, I guess we've all been brought up pretty much in this science fiction society where we've had um, robots in, in, in our fictional lives, everything from Robbie the Robot in Forbidden Planet, who could forget Robbie the Robot, um, all the way through to robots in things like Star Trek with, with, with Data and in Doctor Who and Terminator, all that sort of stuff. So I was really interested to get your take on what you thought about the potential future of robots and how we might interact with them. And I was amazed at the sheer number of comments. I've got pages and pages here. This is double-sided, lots and lots of comments. Um, I can't possibly, I'm afraid, go through them all. So thanks to everyone who made a comment. If you want to read about the future of ourselves and robots, do go to the Future Questions Show number four video. Look at the comments section. It really is very, very good to really deep thinking going on there. But to give you some of the comments, um, one of the first things that, that came through as a general theme is that many of you seem to have concerns about robot technology, but welcomed it anyway. Um, to give, give you some examples of those, um, Brandon Tran kicked it off really by, by saying advanced technology will be the death of us all. But then people like EA5 Payav, I expect smart robots to cause my death somehow, but I'd nevertheless welcome them because I'll die of something anyway. And artificial general intelligence is an improvement over mankind. Well, there we are, it may, may well be, you never know. Um, the world's greatest detective is here. Glad they found time to comment on this channel as well as solving all those big crimes out there. The world's greatest detective said, I love robots. Other than having a zombie invasion, my second most preferred apocalypse would be a robot takeover. Um, and also, you'd trust them because um, they'd be better at random strangers at people like things like rescuing people in, in difficult situations. Moving on. Some other comments, the Jimba Valinor. Fear the rise of the robots? Let them come. Why? Because they're going to have a bio suit, which is going to be nano printed to protect them from anything the robots might do to them. More seriously, perhaps, Santari really liked this comment. If you fear human level AI because it could destroy us all, I do not understand why you should not also have the same fear for all human life as well. Um, and if so, I don't think the creation of artificial human level intelligence should be more worryful than your friend having a baby. Well, of course, it depends very much who exactly that, that friend is. But uh, I take that point, that the fact that we're creating an artificial form of life with robots potentially and artificial intelligence inside them. Um, if they're similar, similar to us, does it really matter? I think actually they'll be very, very different to us. How would something with an artificial body um, have the same thoughts. If an entity that doesn't have to sleep, for example, would have a very different perception of time in the world, I would imagine. Anyway, another comment here, independent dream. I don't think there's going to be a rise of the robots because ultimately we will end up merging with them, first metaphorically and at some point even physically. And many of you raised that point that we can't really look at the future of robotics without looking at the future of ourselves. The more we make artificial um, parts of the human body, bioprinting, cybernetics, whatever, um, the more we will also assist in the creation of robots and the more we create robots, the more we assist mending ourselves. I guess one of the big issues there is that we still in our heads tend to think a lot of the time because of science fiction of robots being effectively plastic and metal and that kind of stuff and quite possibly the future of advanced robotics, certainly of sentient robots if we ever get there, will they will be um, organic, they'll come out of bioprinters and genetic engineering and that type of stuff, and synthetic biology. And therefore, to some extent, it won't be this, this black and white line between robot and person, and there'll be this melding. Maybe people will become more made out of plastic and metal whilst robots become more made out of other technology. A difficult mix to, to guess that. Another set of comments, Peter Power um, said, robots are an extension of humanity. We must assume the role of welcoming parents, as I suppose we give birth to and nurture this, this new species, just as I suppose we've done to some extent with, with the computers, where we, we've nurtured and put up with the 
problems with peace season. In fact, we still have them, of course. Diego Gimino, human beings organize into groups for various reasons, including but not limited to culture, ancestry, geographical location, race, and religion. It's not entirely far-fetched to imagine that robot societies and governments could emerge and that their interests would be independent from ours. It may well be, I guess what he's making the point there, is that in the future, the separation between robots and ourselves won't be the artificial and the, the, um, the natural, if you like, the inorganic and the organic, as I've just talked about. It'll be in parts of society, different types of species, one created entirely out of intelligence or from intelligence, one involved, um, living separately because they don't want to, to meet each other so much or is this having some, some level of distinction. That's a fascinating thought there from um, Diego. Few other comments. GamePro 94Z. I don't think we should fear them because by the time they're as smart as us, we'll be cyborgs ourselves, as we've just been saying. First, they will part. First, they will be our aid, then another part of our of our brain. And of course, there's a whole issue of um, will we get individual cyborgs or will we get joint cyborgs? Because ultimately, we will all link together online. We already already doing that. The internet's the first living cyborg already. Um, Robots, you know, it will there be lots of robots? Effectively, robot swarms much more common than an individual machine. All robots are part of the swarm of the internet, I suppose, to, to some extent. It's a physical manifestation. Ryan J, I would welcome robots with open arms. The scary fact is that larger nations will be using robots for war purposes. Similar comment comes back from Dark Machine King. I would welcome them because they will do mundane and dangerous tasks, but the worry should not be at the coming of robots, but who is using them and for what applications. And that, again, was a very common comment. Uh, another person put it very well, Marion519. As any other technology, robots are cool until some politicians figure out that you can use them to make weapons. And of course, that's already happening. The number of unmanned um, vehicles, ro robot machines, drones, etc. in particularly the US Army is now very high. I think it's about 20,000 plus from nothing 10 years ago. Uh, the Terminator style stuff is starting to happen in a, in a small way in the background already. Vitruvian Dog. I welcome the rise of the robots. When they get smart enough, they can do all my cooking, cleaning and shopping for me. Loads of people made that sort of point, and it's the practical one that will drive it. We won't be sold robots on grounds and metaphysics. We'll be sold robots um, already. You can get a robot of a sort that cleans your carpet. A lot of robots in the world are little vacuum cleaner things now. Um, and it'll be domestic chores and doing tasks in factories that robots increasingly are put to work doing. And of course, a lot of you raise the issue, all sorts of different comments about the negative implications potentially on employment. Um, should we worry about that or will it be like the Industrial Revolution where it's a, it's a change in employment levels? Um, will human beings um, just become lazy? I think Ian Poehler had a great lungs, had a comment on this, fantastic comments, but I've not included them here. But he talked about the way we might become the laziest um, species on, on the planet ever um, because robots do everything for us. That would be bad for our health as, as well as, as employment. But I thought I'd leave the final comment here to Scotty. We don't always succeed in being human ourselves. Perhaps the robots will do a better job at this. And that, I think, is a great place to leave this particular debate. OK, and now I want to talk a little bit about the future of this channel, the sort of things you're going to be seeing if you're sticking with me, as I hope you will. Always remember to push that subscribe button. Um, things you'll be seeing if you, you stay with me over the coming months and, and indeed years. Um, I also have a tension between what I spend my, my time on. As you know, I, I write books, I go out and do all sorts of other things, as you may have seen in my recent video diary. And um, I have to decide which videos I can make, how many I can fit in running this channel and my Spelling Computers channel. And you've seen that the last video I put up was on 3D printing, business opportunities. Uh, I haven't made so business-focused a video before, but I'm going to make one or two more because I do actually, as some of you know, work in a business school part-time and I've got things to say there and this is a good place to say them. But I'm also aware that every time I put up a video on 3D printing now, some people go, not 3D printing again. Um, and indeed, when I put the last video up on that topic, several people unsubscribed, sadly, but you know, hopefully they'll be happy subscribing somewhere else. Um, so I just want to say that there will be some more 3D printing content in, in the coming um, months. And the reason for that is, is straight numbers. Um, this channel has just passed 3 million video views, of which 
um, about 2 million are on 3D printing videos and indeed 1 million on a video I shot at the 3D print show in London last year, which is you know, by far my most popular video to date. And therefore, because I do, do work in that sort of area outside of the channel and because I wish to promote my 3D printing content and make videos people watch, um, then I am going to put more content up on that. So you will see a, a video on the 2013 3D print show in, in a couple of weeks from when I'm putting this one up. Um, probably a video on the 3D printing industry, um, again a bit more of a business focus on where the industry is going. Um, and in early 2014 I hope to do a video on 3D printing technologies, going through all the different ones that exist, there's quite a lot, doing computer animation of every one with some live action of course as well. Um, no one seems to have done that yet so it seems a good opportunity, horrific video to make, um, but it, it will be going up. Having said that, one of the reasons I want to put this video out right now before I start putting up more 3D printing content mm -hmm. is to say to you, the people who you know watch this channel perhaps more intently, my most loyal subscribers, that I'm not going to become a 3D printing channel. Um, by the early next year, once the, the technology video has gone up, it, it'll move on to other things. And I have got some particularly exciting projects in, in the pipeline. One of the first videos I, I made here was about mining helium-3 on the moon. Again, very popular video. And several people have said, why don't you update that? And in fact, that's just what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I often have several videos in production at once, the, the easier ones that just leap out like this one today, um, and the more complex ones that require lots of computer graphics. And for a video on resources from space, I'm already building space capsules and a few asteroids. There'll be all sorts of things this video, from rocket trains and uh, limpet ships mining asteroids to lunar mining and space-based solar power. So that's all coming up. Um, as soon as I can find the time to make it happen. Um, I'm also going to be working on video content um, linked to um, the evolution of the human race. I want to do a really big piece about um, how we can fit together all sorts of futures developments towards where we're headed as, as individuals um, and uh, collectively. And also a video about robots, picking up on some of the themes from today, but putting it into computer graphics and making hopefully something that's really exciting on that. So there are other things coming up, but you will see 3D printing um, in the immediate future. Right, that moves us on to a question for next time. And the question for next time is all about social media. Do you think social media will self-destruct? Now, you might think that's kind of a weird question to ask. Um, social media is something I've been thinking about for a lot of years. I first talked about it in, uh, in fact, this book here, Cyber Business, written all the way back in 1994, came out in, in 95, um, the first e-business book in the UK in many ways. And I talked about in here what I call personal virtual networks, the idea people could sit um, at home, in their schools, uh, at work, in, in, out in, in, in anywhere they happen to be with a mobile device, socializing, um, forming communities virtually. And everyone said, you're nuts, it's never going to happen. Um, and of course, 10 years later, it did. And so I, I like to think I'm a little bit ahead of the curve of social media and, and where it's going. And um, would really welcome your view on what, where you think it is headed. I think it, it's at a turning point. Um, partially, I suppose, it is driven by personal experiences th this year. Um, I've been putting up videos for a long time now and I've had a lot of comments, well over 20,000 comments, it's frightening, uh, and also gratifying people have taken the time to, to, to write them all. Um, but some of the comments get very negative. Uh, I occasionally had to, to block people and take things off for things that you know you could quite easily take legal action against people in, in, the, in the real world if they said with it in other, other contexts. And I had a particular problem this, this summer over on my Exploding Computers channel you might have noticed I was putting videos up great guns in July and suddenly I wasn't and it was partially linked to, to my initial response and, and, and stepping back a bit, having had a, a very tricky experience linked to um, online comments on that channel which then moved, moved, moved beyond the channel. Um, and at that time for a while I was thinking of literally turning off all comments at least on explaining computers and you know, hopefully not here, not least because you all write these fantastic comments as we talked about um, in, in terms of, of robots in the future and hopefully you'll make great comments today on, on social media. Um, but it does seem as a sea change to me. Uh, we've seen a lot of stuff in the press about this, this, this recently. Um, I saw fairly recently popular mechanics. Um, um, no, not popular mechanics, popular science. They, they took down all their forums on their website. They said it's because they thought 
scientific content and forums weren't compatible, which I'm, they kind of inferred it was because of the content people pull up wasn't correct, but I'm sure it was because of trolls and, and negative comments and, and managing that. Um, we've seen, as I'm sure you know, you have to know if you're here, that Google is um, integrating Google Plus into YouTube. We're all, we've all got views on that. I've greatly enjoyed linking my channels into Google Plus. Still can't get the image sharp in my icon. Never mind. Um, but the reason Google are doing that, apparently, at least one of them, is so that comments will be able to be controlled and moderated and, and trolls controlled more, more effectively online. I'm not sure that will work for those of us who have lots and lots of comments. I couldn't possibly moderate every comment that, that, that comes in. Um, but it does signal from a, a large organisation the fact that there's an understanding that there are people out there who just do not know how to behave in the online world. And it's a small proportion of people, but their impact is becoming significant enough to change the way these things work. So I'd be really interested to get your view on any experiences you've had of problems in, in, in social media and in, in whatever um, context that is, and where you think it'll go and whether people will backlash against it or make their comments and, and, and areas much more private um, rather than having this, this two-way with the world. And, I'm aware that's a bizarre thing to be raising at the time I'm going to be saying, you know, make your comments down there in the comments section here, and we are having a chat which couldn't occur without social media. Anyway, that, I think, brings us to the end of these proceedings. We've, we've talked about all sorts of things, from robots to, um, yes, there'll be more 3D printing videos, but other things, and finally social media. Um, if you've got things to say on any of that, particularly on, on the issue about will social media self-destruct, please let us all know down in the comments section, probably down there, but if you're on other devices over there or up there or anywhere you happen to leave your comment on your particular platform. Um, and with that, I'll say thanks for listening. Hope you've got something from this and uh, I hope to talk to you again very soon.